everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and I have a thrift haul from the thrift store that is closing one location and everything is still 50% off. So what did I find today? I found this bowl. This was the first thing that I found and it is ceramic, a mid-century matte black piece that has this silver base. And I had mentioned in one of my previous hauls that if you see something that has a silver base like this, go check out uh, the bottom and see if it says sterling. So this one is, and it is black, star, and gorum. And then this is marked light star. So I believe that um, the two companies just did a collaboration piece together. And the black star and forest, which I think merged or worked together with gorum in um, 1929. It was originally black star and forest. Actually, it had another name before that, but it said in Wikipedia that they started in 1810 and it's been the longest continually operated jewelry company slash store in the United States. And it was wild who their customers were, what they made. Um, at some point more recently, they bought K Jewelers and then all kinds of stuff. So huge, well-known company, but I had never heard their name before. And it was neat to just read about it. So if you like jewelry or jewelry history, that might be one that you want to look up, a black star and forest. This piece is definitely going to go in the dining room at Halloween with some oranges and fruit as a centerpiece. And I'm looking forward to, you know, my cottage little look in there, but then having this modern piece for some contrast which is a look that I like in interior design is contrast and something unexpected. So in my dining room, I've got mid-century furniture pieces. I have an antique piece. I've got some patterns. I've got some plain fabrics. I have a modern light fixture. And now I will add a little modern fruit bowl. I also picked up this piece, which funny story. I thought that I had a fork like this at home. So I was like, oh, I'll get the spoon that matches. And then when I got home, I realized that I had a spoon, not a fork. And the fork that I thought I had was at the store because obviously got moved or separated from each other. <laughs> so I do need to go back because what's the point of separating them? I need to go find the fork so it can have its pair. I was like, I know a fork exists somewhere. I thought it was my house, but no, it's at the store. It just wasn't right with this when I decided to buy it today because I've had my eye on this for at least the summertime. And the handle is marked, it's upside down, sterling handle. So I decided to polish everything up before I shared them so you can see how nice and shiny that is. Um, and I've got black tarnish all over my fingers. So as far as a little costume jewelry for display or crafting, I picked up this stick pin. It's got that little twisted part there and probably a little plastic gem, but has that opal look to it. This is a clip-on earring. I did not notice the pair, but I like to find the clear rhinestones and I've been using them a lot in my art. And it's got a number written right there, but I believe that's the only marking that I see. 5271. Two cute little rings. Really pretty little red gem. And I have recently, like at the flea market, picked up a few little colorful rings like this. And I really enjoy having all those different little glass or rhinestone pieces together in different colors and they're just so sweet so they can be like a little pinky ring actually that one's big for my pinky you can stack them together but I just like to display these in the room let me show you what I do not that it's anything special but I don't have much of a collection but I grew it today by two where I had was kind of dark but just to take some of those little colorful gemstone pieces and just all the different sizes and colors not that any of these are anything um what would you say like like precious stones or whatever but I think that just makes a really pretty display with all of that contrast there I polished this up with a silver polish and it 
got pretty shiny. I don't see it marked anywhere, but it could be sterling. Uh, maybe it's just a handmade piece, so that's why it wasn't marked. And it has this really pretty mother of pearl shell there. And I could wear this, but I think I'm going to display it in my pedestal that I shared the other day. I think that the pastel of it will just pair nicely. There were two rhinestone necklaces, and these were there last week, but I only purchased one. And then when I went there today, I saw these and I didn't hesitate for a second because I put the one rhinestone necklace that I purchased last week on my dress form. And then on Saturday, I went to that estate sale and I found that black ruffled morning scarf. And someone commented that it was called a lappet, L-A-P-P-E-T. And I listened to the pronunciation and that's how they said to say it, lappet. So I have the black ruffled lappet with the lace and the sparkly rhinestone. And I just really love that contrast of texture. And on film, it's not doing it justice. The rhinestones are sparkly and I just feel like it feels so fancy. I love it. A little Christmas card that was printed for a specific person from 1929. And this Scottish Christmas greeting, Glasgow ribbon, Scottish mistletoe was a thistle. Um, imagine a nice blue sky here and snow here. It's funny. It's cute. Uh, it's also a Scottish poinsettia and a Scotch holly. <laughs> a butcher gave me the paper. Myself, I saved the string. A generous friend made up the verse, so I didn't so it didn't cost me a thing. I borrowed the type from a printer, but he was a Scotchman too, and there's only enough for me to print a bright Mary C to you and a Happy New Year, HNY. <laughs> C would be Christmas. Oh, it's also a Scotch evergreen. Like, it's very funny. And a Scotch caroler. Rustcraft Boston, USA. There were these three star clips. I guess clips for um, curtain. So I might... I always put up my um, piano shawls in the summer to block some of the light because it gets brighter in here um, in the early morning. So there were three. I picked them up. These little pieces, don't know what they are, kind of look like they would go down in a candlestick and would be some type of collar. So those would be good for a sculpture. And I picked this up for the same reason. It might work in some type of sculpture that I do, just a letter opener that looks like a sword. And this little piece could always be a hat for something, just a little brass piece. Oh, I did find one of these little gold bar pins, and I have a few of those that I stick on um, my dress form on a little purse. That's been there for a long time. So I'm picking up some of the stuff I've had my eye on. I've been on the hunt for little books. So here's a little one from 1937. It's like a little agenda filled out. Um, and I might use that in my um, sculpture, the uh, Closet of Curiosities, possibly. A little Christmas Carol ephemera. Those are usually like handed out as like a Christmas thank you. Oh, it's got the little Pledge of Allegiance in there with a the flag. That's neat. You can collect these, but I find a lot of these, so they can be good for um, collaging. And actually, it looks like maybe someone printed that, and that was what she gave out as her Christmas card. Some neat old receipts. It says New York. That's neat. December 20th, 1889. Italia Lodge, Simeone, that was one of the big estates from almost two years ago that they still have stuff there. And there's stuff stamped, like embossed. Some type of Italian association. Maybe it's dues or something. I don't know. And there was this little bird. It's got that little wire wrapped around it that I think some mid-century pieces are like that, but also some um, 
like antique German pieces or like that. It's obviously not in great shape, but it's not broken. Just the wire doesn't look so great because usually it's crimped and that wire was all over the place, but I wasn't going to leave it. And then this really neat book, 1949, some optical illusions, wonders of science simplified, and uh, why is the sky, why the sky is red at sunset, like probably really neat explanations and then illustrations as well. Beautiful forms of snowflakes. Maybe, I definitely think I'd make copies of this if I needed to collage with it because it's pretty awesome. Lots of nice images if you're into planes. There's, there was a lot of neat stuff with the planets and like weather systems that I was really drawn to. Is this something about how man has told the time through the ages that is awesome yeah this just might be a reference book that I just keep at the house I think I could just make a whole video going through this book what is that how you hear inside our ear and inside a telephone So that, what is that called? Wonders of Science Simplified. Pretty cool book. It'd be interesting to see if this was a series um, where they explained other things, but it does say three, oh, three volumes in one. Yeah, I wonder if they had Wonders of Nature, History of Modern Astronomy, what is that, Astrology? Like, aren't these great? I just love how that's black and white and it's some is photography, but more of it is just illustrations. And here is my favorite find. This was not put in like a special case. It was just hanging up with the rest of the jewelry and it's this beautiful gold cross and it is marked at the bottom 14 karat. So I polished it up when I came home at the store. It had, this tarnish that was like a that dark purple iridescence, but it cleaned up so nice. And I really wonder if those are diamonds because they are sparkling. Um, they don't look like rhinestones to me and they don't look like, I don't know what else it would be, just like a piece of glass. Like it doesn't sparkle like that if it's glass. Plus it has those little like holes. I feel like that's something that is done in fine jewelry. And then at the store, I remember someone saying in a video about something being prong set, whereas rhinestones might just be glued in uh, because they're not precious. But if you're going to put something fine that you're going to prong set it, and I can see that those have like the little prongs. Now I'm looking at rhinestone stuff right in front of me that has prongs as well. But um, if this was just little rhinestones in here, I think they'd just be glued in. So I wonder if I found a diamond and gold cross, but I just love the design. I think it's beautiful. I've always wanted a sparkly cross and I cannot wait to wear that. So that is my haul. Um, I did get a bag of ephemera to, and books to take to school. And I got my mother-in-law some glass candle wick pieces that she likes. But this stuff is for me to be creative with and to add to my collections. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you in another video.